Hi. Wow. So, what are we talking about today? Um, this is um, invitation to really look at um, what is right voice for you, and that is something that I have been um, really asking myself. And um, amazing possibilities are showing up. And I wonder what conversation can we uh, have here? What conversation would you like to have? And um, what conversation would, uh, can we have here? And where can we, what can we kickstart today? Uh, what conversations have you been desiring to have? And um, so I'm just going to wait a little bit for other people to join us. And if you can hear me properly or you can't hear me, if there's anything else that my video is fine, feel free to give me the input. And I'm just going to see how this is. I'm new at FB Live, but I'm just seeing how would I look at the comments from people. Hmm. So, I wonder if I'm getting the comments. Okay. So, I'm Ina, and uh, I'm a right voice for you. Um, breakthrough intro facilitator. Yay! I can see. Okay. So, you can hear me fine. All good. And um, this is uh, one class that when I choose to uh, join in has gifted me so many different uh, possibilities like kind of opened uh, doorways that I didn't even know I could choose and it started from like you know choices uh, simple choices like showing up on a FB live video or making videos to really looking at what is that I desire to create um, as my life or in the world and what are the conversations that I am having and um, what is really uh, uh, like there were a lot of places in my life and in my uh, work, business that was I started becoming more present with in regards to what is it that I'm being or I'm saying or I'm doing and what is that creating and what kind of futures is it creating is that where I would like to go or I would like to choose something different and um, it's a question that you get to ask and you get to choose or not choose on an everyday basis so um, yeah, what would you like to talk about? And feel free to, if you have commented and I haven't really seen them, please like or comment so that I can make out whether you, sorry, you'll be seeing my hand and fingers. I promise you I'll get better at it. I'll do it. I wonder what else can show up. And who else can show up? Who else would like to come play with me and play with us? So, what is the... Uh, it was also like, where all... How are you being with yourself? And how are you being with your body? And how are you being with your uh, life? And how are you being with... Um, what conversations can you have or would you desire to have now that could contribute to you having the life that you desire and uh, what if it could be fun so a great uh, a way to uh, move forward for me was to ask uh, wherever that I was uh, with people or having conversations as to is this what is this a conversation that I desire to have? Is this, is this the conversation that I would like to have? And um, if not, then what conversation would I like to have? 
And it's amazing when you ask a question, like different possibilities start to show up that um, you that take you beyond what you can actually think your way through. Like uh, I spent a lot of time, like uh, you know, in my thoughts and uh, wondering that if I say this to this person, and then it would create this, and then it should go this way, and then I would have that conversation with that person, and that's not where it goes. So. But the fun thing is that even if it's not going there, you can be totally present in those 10 seconds and then ask a different question as to where you would like for it to go now and where can you take it. So are there any questions that you would like to ask or what is, what is it that you are getting from this conversation or please type in and comment. I would love for your questions to be there. And hi, Sandhya. Yay, so I can see the comments. Thank you for that. <laughs> I was wondering <laughs> whether I'm missing it or I'm getting it. Awesome. Thank you for joining in. And uh, so where can we take this? Where can we, where would you like to go? Hi Rahu, thank you for joining in. I'm just yapping away too. Good to see you here too. I'm just yapping away so that more and more people can join in. And we can have them in. If you've just joined, we're talking about what is right voice for you and um, more conversations would you like to have? Where would you like to go? Like a great thing that showed up for me is like a different way of being with my creations, with my business, and with my uh, team. Um, there was this, uh, oh, I used to have a design firm, I still have it, uh, but the design firm was really about, uh, it started expanding and growing and we started adding more people to it. This was uh, we started in 2000 and then uh, as and when we expanded and grew, I started doing business as usual and I started going in spaces that when, when I started the business, it was really from this space of fun and joy and ease and we didn't matter. It didn't matter when we were working and how we were working and what it's supposed to look like. It was more from the fun of it and we kept adding products and services and things like that and uh, being present with what was going on as and when we went. And then we started expanding and we would just start looking at the other businesses and how they were done and we were like, you know, maybe we are not doing it right and maybe we are not doing it going in the right direction and maybe we should do it like this one or do it like that one. And even though that is awesome to get to look at what's really going on around and receive information, but it kind of cut us off and cut me off from what was like right, like what what's the way that I create. And um, how would I like to create? And what is it that we are creating and being that is contributing to the world, the future that we desire, and then being more present with what you desire to create? So it really started going downhill. The business was became, started becoming so boring. We had a team, we had a timeline, we had a deadline, and uh, it all became about, uh, um, you know, what is really going on and uh, the day-to-day the -day chores and day-to-day -day things. Um, what really helped was to look at uh, where is it that we would like to, I would like to take it. And the more I ask that, the more possibility shows up. And it's not like, what if you didn't have to look for an answer or conclusion? Like a lot of time what we tend to do is that we say, okay, we've asked this question. Um, as like what kind of a thing will work for us or who can we add or what can we add and then we think that we have to run with that and that's the conclusion whatever answer that you get and then you keep creating from that space but what if it wasn't so what if you could ask the question every day as to what will work for you now in these 10 seconds and be willing to have a different conversation um, Sandhya says I always has, have this fear that others know better than me this always keeps me in the shell. Can you help me out? Ah, oh boy. That was one of my things. <laughs> um, yeah, like when we started, uh, 
so what is that like what where where can we go from um what is fear and is it fear or is it excitement like a lot of times that when you're choosing something different choosing something new and choosing something that is seems to be fun and joyful or true for you which might not be something that anyone else is even getting it or even choosing it um we tend to think that what we are choosing might be wrong because nobody else is doing it and nobody else is having this conversation and nobody else is talking the way i'm talking or doing things the way i am doing so we like what if like when you choose something new what if it's not fear but it's the excitement of the unknown and of what it could create and um, there you go sanjay says excitement so um a lot of times just acknowledging that when it's showing up for you like a great question at that point to ask is is this fear or is this excitement because when you actually get its excitement then you can ask another question okay cool so what's next what else what else can i create from here and also like a lot of times when you when you choosing something like an uh, a possibility is showing up you start becoming aware like the moment you choose it you start beca- becoming aware of everything else that is going to cre- get created from that choice and that start showing up in your in your you know world in your thoughts or whatever which way that it shows up for you and so it's giving you information of where you can go from there it also gives you information what it might create in other people's world So what if you asked another question as to a lot of time the uncomfortable is also what you become aware of is the other world like how many times are you choosing something that you know will be fun and joyful for you but everyone around you maybe your friends or family just don't get it and it's really uncomfortable for them to even consider that you could be choosing something like that So how much of the uncomfortable is not even yours and if you were to choose it where would it take you if you couldn't fail if you could never fail what would you choose like um fb life or making videos was definitely not something that i would have considered i had so many points of views about um um who i was like you know how much you focus on the few people who might not get it rather than all the other people who are waiting for you to pick up um your phone and make a video or have a conversation about something that they've been wanting to have so it's um awesome sandhya thank you for your question um thanks rahul i think it definitely makes sense so a lot of times like um when you're choosing something and nobody else gets it if you still choose it where could you go from there and what if it wasn't really like a fight that you had to fight with everyone else it's funny how we think that when we're choosing something that doesn't match or doesn't like kind of fit in other people's universes that when we're choosing more for ourselves it has to be like a confrontation or a fight but what if it didn't have to and it's really funny that when you actually choose more for you there's more for everyone when you choose more for when you when you are willing to be present with in every situation what's working for you and what's not working for you possibilities show up that actually contribute to um you becoming aware of what like what doorways can you open and create beyond that nobody else around you can that if you did will have that opening that possibility available for everyone else um and so if there was an example here what would it be hmm well i had a business that i was creating and i had a space that i was sharing with many other people and um I wonder if I want to go here. Hmm, interesting. So what's this going to create, I wonder. But there was this whole um um space I was sharing with other people and it was a business that was 
uh, was a multidisciplinary space that there had more businesses and more people in it. And the more I was there, the more I realized and became aware of that how it was working till a certain point and then after that it stopped working. And then, because there was a money invested in it, there were people who uh, I had invested my time and effort into it and uh, my business had and there were other people involved that for a lot of time that I, even though I knew that I had to have that conversation, I didn't. I didn't even allow to, for me to have that conversation with myself that if, um, that when I did and I chose something different, it created more for everyone. Like I went out, went out and created more businesses. Um, it expanded my money flows and revenue in ways I couldn't have imagined. Uh, it created a lot more joy in my world. Even though I had so-called lost all the money that I had invested in that space and had spent in that space, and um, I could either continue and continue doing that for next 10 years, trying to make it right, trying to fit in, trying to uh, correct it, or I could just choose something different. Ooh, my finger was really big. So Rahul says, like, even if I have command over the subject being discussed, but I always hold myself back, maybe backside, of I'm not confident about my command over language. Yeah, so I would say, what if the your first language was energy? What if you're always aware of, even before you say something, aware of what's that creating in everyone else's world? And how much do we stop ourselves because we want to make everyone else comfortable? But who can you make terribly uncomfortable or wonderfully uncomfortable today? A great question that actually was a huge gift to me from Gary Douglas. Like, what if every day you woke up in the morning and asked, uh, what would I like to create and what contribution can I be? And um, what, um, who can I fuck with wonderfully today? Like, who are you unwilling to offend? Who are you unwilling to um, choose different from? Who are you unwilling to make uncomfortable? What if it wasn't so? What if you're willing to make them uncomfortable? What if you're willing to make yourself uncomfortable? What doors would you open? Like a great um, a movie that um, um, is, wow, I can't remember the name. Wait, I got it. Temple Blunt. It's like uh, in that movie, she keeps looking at uh, these uh, doors that it's about this uh, lady who is autistic and she um, goes about uh, seeing like her science teacher told her that, you know, the door is what if everywhere, every time that you have to step into something new or something different or something unknown is like a door that opens into something totally different world in a totally different possibility. So how many doors are you keeping shut so that you are not uncomfortable, so that someone else is not uncomfortable, so that you don't offend someone? Like how many times if you look at <laughs> your family, how many times did you choose things that you knew that you anyways had to choose even if it made your family uncomfortable? And how many times have you not chosen? Hi, Joanna. Um, thank you for joining. Thanks, Anita. I'm so glad. So, how many uh, doorways are we ke keeping shut? What if you open them up? And how many did you open? Like, what if you acknowledged, like, if you look back to your childhood or your life with your family or with your friends, how many times did you choose uncomfortable? Did you choose to open a door that nobody else was willing to? That you actually chose something that only you could see that nobody else could? And what did that create? Did it create more? Did it create a different possibility for you in your life? Or did it create less? Did it create more for you and everyone? And a lot of times what happens is that it kind of sometimes creates more, 
but then we have become so aware of everyone else's judgment so a great great possibility um, of choosing what works for you and choosing what maybe is right voice for you in those 10 seconds we could keep which keeps changing is to be willing to uh, open those doors be willing to um, choose something different than nobody else's and be willing to receive judgments because a lot of times when you're choosing new a lot of people will be like why is she choosing it why is he choosing that like how many times when you're choosing something new and different do you really get support first go and if you do you're really lucky <laughs> you're really really lucky how much gratitude can you have for everyone around you and how many times do you get like you know like how many inputs do you get from people about how it wouldn't work how it could fail how it would make sense how it will ruin your life or whatever that is but if you just chose it and you were willing to receive the judgment and not and and create from no judgment for yourself in your choices and for everyone else where could it take you what could you create and choice creates awareness like when you choose something it will give you information about where you can go from there a lot of times we actually wait for the right information and the right things and the right time and the right uh, this thing to a lot of times it is your awareness but you want to ask is this a point of view is it an awareness rahul says personally i think i have avoided such situations mostly well what can you choose now what would be fun for you um what if you asked every day what would i like to create as my life if i was truly being me here who would i be what would i be so is it fear of judgment rahul or is it excitement of judgment or is it just excitement of possibilities like when you're trying something new or something different is it fear or is it excitement so whatever that is light and makes you smile and expansive is true for you and anything that makes you heavy and contracted is a lie so you want to ask is this fear what if fear wasn't real like if you would if you if you were if you fall in, on the road if you fall in front of a car and the car is heading towards you would you uh would you get up and get into action or would you let the car override you would you get like fearful or would you get into action what would you choose i find a lot of times people like i know i would and i've asked this question to quite a few people and like mostly people get that they would get into action they would choose something whatever that is to get out of the way of the car to get onto the bonnet to step aside so what is a reflex is it your awareness to get into action so would you is that your body giving you information of move dude otherwise going to kill you and you're like i'm not getting killed here right now and then what would you choose does that make sense at all or we could go somewhere else from here what is it that you would like to choose right now that you feel you get a sense of fear with it is it yours or you're aware of other people's 
uncomfortableness or something else that's getting created. Uh, also another question that you can ask is, is it fear, is it excitement, or is it awareness? Like if you're going down an alley and you feel like, and your body gives you this information and you get this sense of that there's no way I'm going down that road, what if that is an awareness and it's not fear? So you could ask, is it fear, is it excitement, or is it awareness? And then go with what you get. What if you always know? You always know where to go. It's just that a lot of times it doesn't match what other people think you should be choosing around you. And so if when you choose something that is different, that allows you to be you, a lot of times people would be, why is he choosing that? And then after a while, when they start, it starts becoming visible and more evident to them as to why you're choosing it, then they were like, what, are, what is he doing? I'll have some of that. So what are the five things that you can choose that could contribute to the life that you desire? What can you choose today? I love yapping, I could go on yapping and talking and but I also love questions and I love to know what's going on with everyone and all of you and where can we go from here. So Rahul says, so I have been wanting to prepare a stand-up comic act. I have even enrolled with Canvas Laugh Club. That's great. So, where can you go from there? We're very excited about it. But also there's a huge fear of outcome. Awesome. Thank you for that question and that where we can go from here now is that, like, what if you were, the thing with the outcome is that we kind of decide that if we choose this, then it'll create that. Which might be a fun killer for you. Like what if you were uh, more like, what would be fun for me and create it from the fun and joy of it without a point of view of how it's supposed to turn out. And the thing about ha not having a point of view about how it's supposed to turn out allows you to go wherever it can go. Like for this FB life, if I had known exactly the 10 things that I'm going to give you and have, sometimes that helps, but if I um, uh, have this point of view about what this FB life should look like and be like an end and then create further in my future, then it, it shuts all the other doorways and possibilities that it could open and that it could take me. Like there's no way that I could have sat here and seen um, or even before prepared for the conversation that we're having right now because it, it's it's your questions and the space that you're being and what you're asking for that and my willingness willingness to not have an outcome in mind that allows me to go where we can take this and there are a million directions that we can take what would be fun for us what would be fun for me so it allows you to be really present with right voice for you with, your, with the possibilities that are available to you, like especially like with stand-up comedians, right? Like how much do you require to be present with your audience to receive the information? And it's like you pull energy, you flow energy from the whole universe through them, through your whole audience to you. And they give you information. And then they, and then you can like, a lot of like fun stand-up comedians have this thing of where they will interact with the Oh, am I back? Am I alive? I'm sorry, my internet dropped out there. Can you guys hear me? Am I here? Can someone comment to let me know you can hear me, see me? 
Hello, I'm on my own. What else is possible?